God, our Father, whose power brings us to birth, whose providence guides our lives, and at whose command we return to dust. Lord, those that die live in your presence. Their lives are changed, but do not end. I hope and pray for my family, relatives, and friends. Right now, all I'm going to think about is going home. I have to apologise to my daughter. And I'm going to think about how I can make things better without fucking things up any worse. Reacted a bit. A little bit. Well, it's only because it was so unexpected. Well, you remember when you were six? Six or seven, around that age anyway. And we were down at that Cadwell's farm. You know, the place where you can pet the sheep and the goats and that. And there was this one goat that you were scared of, despite him being a wee little bugger. Oh, I tried so hard to get you to warm to him. And when you did, when you were just about to stroke him. He spat in my face. Yeah, yeah, he spat right in your face. Oh, you did not like that one little bit. You screamed and you cried. And the only way I could get you to calm down was to buy one of those little mini mouse ice creams. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh, I forget you're not my little babby anymore. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. That dirty little twat was done this to you. This is just his fault. Now don't you worry about nothing. I saw everything. I promise. Sophie not really pregnant? No, she's still pregnant. I was just about to confront the father. Ah, so you took my advice. How'd it go? <sighs> Thought I'd leave it. I just on my way home. You're what? You're being a pansy, are you? No, I'm not being a pansy. Just thought I was best leave it alone. Can I help you? Are you Billy? Uh, why? Look, I don't want to talk about Jesus if that's what you're after. Are you Billy? Yeah, why? Well, I just wanted to scare you a little. I mean, this gun, it ain't even low. Oh. All right, Eric, relax. As a matter of fact, I have thought about it, and that's the real reason I wanted us to meet here today. So you're happy for Scott to take his father's place then? Well, the agreement was the last person to remain alive out of yourself, Christopher, and I would receive the total sum. If we had children, the child would take our place in the deal in the event of our demise. It's only fair that Scott should be a part of this. Oh, I agree. Though you may not want to be. What?
And you better get that. I know, I know. Kids, right? Well, what can you do? Your father do the same for you, right? Mr. Hemsford, with all due respect, my father would never have to. Your father works for me, kid. Which means that when you get your degree, you're going to be working for me too. So you better get used to the idea, capiche? That's what I wanted to hear. Cheer up. She's just a whore. Charles! Morning, father. I'm just... I've told you to call me Mr. Rogers at work. I generously gave you a job as a clerk right after your graduation. And you repay my kindness by sitting about doing nothing. If you continue to be so useless, I will fire you. Do you understand me? Get to work. Et quand revient l'été à Saint-Tropez, tous les garçons sont beaux à Saint-Tropez. Toutes les filles sont belles de la croquer au rendez-vous d'amour de Saint-Tropez. On court dans le vent, on se fait au soleil, on brûle ses vêtements. On s'amuse, on rit, on danse, on fait les fous, on chante, on vit sa vie. Le monde entier s'en tape à Saint-Tropez Pour se retirer la peau à Saint-Tropez